What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. And uh, how do you guys like the new setup? Uh, new setup in a sense that I'm sitting down now as opposed to standing up. And the reason for that is because at one point I'm like, why am I standing up all the time? Like it's actually more uh, tiring and you know, anyway, so I decided to sit back, sit my ass back down. <laughs> okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about um, ACL injuries and uh, judo. Okay, if it's a good idea or not. Let me read you guys the question. Uh, this question is from Charles uh, Beatty. Uh, what are your views about people who have had knee surgery getting into judo? Uh, 20 years ago, I tore my ACL and, had, and have had surgery to repair the problem. Hmm. Great question, uh, Charles. Thank you for oh, the question. And hmm, so you had ACL surgery, uh, you know, years ago, and it's repaired, right? And judo, yeah. So <laughs> you might. This is not, maybe not what you want to hear, but uh, this is, I believe, from my experience, what you need to hear. And that's yeah, you're gonna fuck up your knees if you try judo again. Uh, that's just the way it goes. There's a lot of leg entanglements in judo and uh, it's just things that happen, you know? So like if you practice judo, you will hurt your knees, you know? So it's always the knees and the shoulders in judo. And for me, it's even been my back and my ankle and yeah, so that's, that's from my experience and even my neck recently. So I'm gonna talk about that in another video because that's gonna be regarding uh, how, to, um, um, how to survive in judo, uh, uh, how to train smart and you know, not um, to get better. And the way to get better is not to get injured. But anyways, okay, so it's not, I don't, I don't mean to say this to discourage you. Uh, I'm just saying that it's inevitably gonna happen because if you train long enough in judo, what's gonna happen is that, uh, well, at one point, there's with all the leg sweeps and sometimes the funny angles uh, that people come, uh, uh, throw an attack, your legs are gonna get entangled, your foot's gonna get stuck, it's gonna twist, you're gonna fall, weight of the person, your weight, and you're gonna, you're gonna hurt your knees. And I've hurt both knees, so, and all my ligaments in both knees are all partially torn. And I messed, I messed it up again recently, like the, the right knee, and now I'm slowly getting back into it. And yeah, that's just, that's just the way it is, man. So, I mean, if it's a risk that, uh, if you really wanna do judo and it's still a risk that you're willing to accept, of course, I respect that because even myself, like I know that there's, I mean, it's, it's horrible, horrible for your joints, to be honest. Judo, it's a rough sport. Um, it's just that uh, it's just so fun and I enjoy it. So I think that you could get back into it, but you would have to get back into it in a, yeah, you would have to be smart about it and do it, uh, uh, you know, train with, um, well, train safely, as safe as possible. So the way to do that, in my opinion, would be to go very slowly and of course, Talk to your coach. I think your coach and explain to him the situation. Tell him, hey, listen, I had ACL surgery a long time ago. It's repaired. I would like uh, to learn judo and to practice it, but I'd like to be uh, safe about it, you know, and, and not to get injured. I know that it's not a, you know, you can't guarantee anything, but what could we do to, you know, um, mitigate risk, right? So. Obviously, warming up properly, um, okay, and learning how to break fall, learning really focusing on proper technique, and after that, the most important thing, one of the, like, not the most important thing, but a very important part of it would be do not uh, go with people who are unsafe. Now, how would you do that? That's the tricky part. For the most part, if you're a beginner and you go against another beginner, it's gonna be a disaster because you guys both don't know what you're doing, so to speak, and you go, you'll go too hard, the other guy will go too hard, and you'll throw funny things, you know, at like very 
at all, all, all types of attacks at funny angles like technique won't be clean at all it'll be like all over the place and that's when people get hurt but it's not just with beginners uh, and, and colored belts I mean this could actually happen with black belts as well so you would have to talk to your coach and ask him who is safe that I could work out with and that I could trust that won't bust my bust me up bust up my knees and then from there I would suggest when he tells you okay no problem uh, this guy this guy this guy this guy so we'll pair you up with people who are safe and then from there those people you would have to repeat the same thing to them so you would have to express to them too that hey you know um, I want to learn judo I don't want to break or bust up my knees and 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 you know like so I'd like to really take my time with it and if you could be help me out and be careful with me I'd, I'd, I'd very much appreciate it I heard you're, you're very safe and, 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 and you know that's why I'd like to, to train with you uh, whenever possible and voila right so if you coach if your coach points out to you who is safe and then on top of that you talk to your partners who are safe and you express them that to them that hey heard you you know, coach told me you're super safe and I don't want to get messed up. So can I train with you? And can you, you know, can you help me, please? I think you should be good, right? Of course, um, that's how I would approach it if, if I wanted to get into judo, but I really didn't want to get hurt, right? Because I couldn't afford to, or I just don't want to. I mean, it's, it's very normal. Nobody wants to you know, bust up their knees. You know, as much as I, I preach, uh, I, I enjoy judo and I talk about it all the time and I think that I've, I've inspired a lot of people uh, who watch my channel, um, people in the community to actually take up judo. Like there's no, I don't have any illusions regarding it in the sense that like it is, you know, like I'll tell you guys the truth. I got like, it's not like about making money out of promoting judo, right? <laughs> Um, so yeah like the truth is you will eventually get injured if you know uh, you practice long enough and you practice uh, hard you're intense and you do the randories which is like really fun but man you know finding safe people that's the thing man like if I if I knew what I uh, if I knew then what I knew now you know I would be so much better off to be honest, you know, I would have so many, uh, I probably would progress a lot faster and I would have a lot less injuries, but it is what it is. And uh, that's that. So listen, Charles, I hope that answered your questions. Uh, don't be shy if you have any more questions or if I didn't, uh, uh, if you need more clarification or if you need, you know, uh, whatever, just uh, send me another email. I'll be happy to, um, to answer your question. And so guys, what do you guys think? Um, should Charles, you know, uh, go back to judo I mean of course we don't have enough context I believe to really give super good advice and, and, and all but hey put your comments down below do you think uh, let me know what you think and oh if you of course if you like comment and uh, share the video and all that it helps the channel grow so let's let's, let's get this up there guys why not right because I'm, I'm I'm here to stay and uh, you know I well I appreciate every single one of you. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, and of course, all the links are going to be below. If you guys want to hire me for coaching, I'm also a, uh, uh, a health and fitness coach and I help guys, specifically men, uh, older men or even younger if, if they need help, you know, I'm not against that, to get back into shape, you know, so that they could, uh, uh, well, go about their lives, right? And train martial arts too and so on and so on. So anyways, uh, that's it, guys. Uh, love you. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.